Hello and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. Today we're going to be assembling the custom uh, Cooler Master water cooled PC. There's been a couple changes, so uh, let's go over the hardware first and then we'll pull the case over and see what I've done to this case since uh, you've seen it the last time. Okay, that'll cover the hardware. Now let's uh, clear all this off and pull this case over here and open it up. I'll go over what I've done to the case and then we'll start assembling this. Okay, we got the other stuff out of the way. Let's uh, get this cover off. This I just made out of plexiglass and painted a border on the inside only and drilled it out. Turned out very nice. Okay, I was only able to fit a single 120 millimeter fan in the bottom. There wasn't enough room in between where the feet go. Tab two, so it got one, but it's placed directly where it's gonna feed the graphic card with fresh uh, air. Here I made a plate. This is just to cover the wires. This covers all the wire connections and stuff. It's just a simple plexiglass plate with standoffs that I made with stainless uh, hardware. I made this uh, cover here for to hide the wires from the power supply at the top. And they too have captive screws and it's made out of plexiglass and decaled. Here's where I shortened the hard drive, the uh, five and a quarter DVD drive bays. I shortened that and took all the hard drive mounts out of it. Uh, the SSD will mount here in the bottom. Uh, the 120 millimeter fan in the front, everything's got white blades. I painted all the blades white, I uh, left the fans black, they're all Kohler Master. And I think that's, I painted the uh, interior of the case, white and black. That's about all I did to it. Other than that, it's a standard case. There's a mesh screen at the very bottom to filter any dust from the fan coming in the intake fan here there's a filter on the front uh, the 120 uh, radiator will go back here in this location so let's get started on it let's start assembling this okay I put together a bag of screws and some uh, tie straps and stuff for this build or it's custom build so it doesn't really get the same screws as it normally would. I want to start by putting in the power supply. I'm going to pop out this five and a quarter bay drive. There you go. Okay, I want to install the power supply first because of the wires and I want everything out of the way. Just going to place the power supply in here. I want the DVD drive in next because it's going to be holding my wire above it. I'm going to tuck some wire above it so that I want it there now so I could just start putting the wire in now. I 
flip it over and get the screws on the other side of the DVD drive. Turn it back over. Let's go ahead and put the motherboard in. First, I need a back plate. And the motherboard. Get out the motherboard screws. Okay, my four pin power. I'm going right here. Just like that. Any four pin connector. like that. It's going to be our six pin graphics card power. So it's going to be going down there. This is going to our SATA for our SSD down in the bottom. So I need to have it down here also. Let's go ahead and hook up the three and a half inch drive. It's Western Digital Green. And I am going to want to install this Right on this tray I made for it. Okay, the hard drive's in. Let's go ahead and hook up the SATA for the DVD drive. And the solid or the hard drive, the storage drive. Okay. Let's uh, flip it around. Let's work on getting the uh, rest of these wires hooked up. So I'm going to turn it like this so you can see the bottom half. I'm trying to let you guys see the best I can. I don't have an overhead uh, camera mount. So this is what it is. And there's all your front panel connectors hooked up already there. Now I still got... Graphics card. Let's go ahead and uh, install the SSD and get that out of the way. It's going to install here. Okay, SSD's in. Couldn't hook up the SATA power for it.
There's power to the SATA. I bought two of these. I didn't know if I would need one for the pump or not, or if it was included. So I got two of these four pin uh, fan splitters. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put the CPU cooler in because uh, I'm afraid if I don't do it now, it's just gonna be harder. So let's pull that up. Primarily concerned with the the mounting hardware for it. Here's the fan that came with it. I painted the blades white only. I left the fan alone. All right, that was a real bugger. I ended up having to pull the board out and put in a back plate for that. Um, the instructions were all right. weren't that great, but they were they weren't too bad. It was just a pain in the butt. Okay, let's uh, continue on. Let's go ahead and clean that processor off. Even if everything's new, I go ahead and clean it anyhow, just so there's no residue from the manufacturing left on it. Screws up for this. There's all four of them. Thermal paste, I'll uh, just use what Cooler Master sent. About yay much, should be good. Set it down right on top. Just keep tightening it down to it's all even, and you'll feel these screws bottom out. Right there's one. There's two. There's three, and that's four. Okay. grab some screws for the okay I got some thumb screws for this cooler because I wanted to be able to make it removable to clean it ease a lot easier just set it into place right there okay this will get done with cable management. I'll wrap that up real tight and plug it in right next to that. Let's go ahead and install our fan. Which I went down here.
Now they did include thumb screws for the uh, for the fan. Okay. Let's go ahead and set this up in here and do some cable management. Okay, I just want to grab some of these tie straps and clean up this wire the best I can. Okay, it's pretty good there. Let me grab another Y pin adapter. I want to want to run the fan and the pump on the same one for the CPU cooler. Which this is one, and the pump is the other. Okay, now. Okay, let's go ahead and install the card. Uh, Cooler Master made it very easy. Got quick release uh, clamps here. I'm just going to take the card, set it on the 16 PCIe 6 PCIe 16 slot, and lock it in. I have a six-pin power connector here. Go install on the back of the card, just like that. Get a couple tie straps on that. Okay, what now? We need SATA connectors hooked up. Let's go ahead and flip it around. I don't know where you can actually see the SATA connectors, but. Okay. That's all in, installed. Let's go ahead and put these covers on. This one I made with captive screws. Okay, that'll cover up all the wires from the power supply. And this one here mounts and the standoffs mount right to the motherboard's rear mounting screws. And they have thumb screws too, also. Mm. And there that is. All the covers are in. Let's, uh, I think that's it. Let's get a power cord and power this thing up. Let me get a monitor up here and let's take a look at this. Let's power it up. All right, I got a monitor, keyboard set up. Let's power it up and see what's happening here. Okay, she's booted up. She's looking for an operating system. I didn't put Windows 10 on it yet. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Put Windows 10 on that. I think I'm done for the day. It's It's been a long day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put Windows 10 on this tonight, and I'll do a wrap-up video tomorrow or something. Uh, same day. Uh, it didn't take that long. I put Windows 10 on it. I'm going to go up and get uh, some uh, close-up close shots of uh, the build without the window so there's no glare, and then I'll do a couple with the, with the window on it. 
Uh, it's got Windows 10 Professional on there. It's uh, genuinely activated. No bootleg uh, Windows here. So uh, that's a wrap on this one. The next build I have is that Mini ITX I already did a trailer on. That'll be the very next build. It's uh, it's finished. All the modifications are finished. Uh, it, it's ready to go. I just haven't had time to film it. I've been very busy. I've been working a lot lately. And I just don't have a lot of time to, to make these videos. I'm, I'm doing my best I can. So the little Mini ITX will be the next build. And then I have two workstation computers for myself to build. Um, so... Stay tuned for them videos. Thank you for watching Sean's Test Bench.